Hello everyone! Today we're going to be learning what the animals say, because for some reason they have a dialogue box. But of course, they have a fence between you and the animals to keep both you and the animals safe. I think this gorilla's sick, it just smells like garbage. Sigh, I guess they'll be popping a frozen dinner into the microwave tonight. So that's what happened to all the missing people of Stardew Valley. Pam, we both know you're going to be way too drunk to accomplish even that. Hey, meeting the wizard here? Do you have everything you need for the farm? Well, I could use one illegitimate child, and I heard you're the person to come to for that, so yes, please. If not, we might be able to help you out. I don't think there's any we in what you're offering. We carry a variety of useful items. No thanks, the town has too many illegitimate children as it is. This one looks dangerous. They get a little unpredictable when they're hungry. Just approach quietly from behind. The people here seem nice, but they avoid me. That's where I'm different. I'm not very nice, and I won't avoid you. People are afraid of the unknown, or it could be that you look like you just returned from Jumanji. But of course, it's not the dialogue of all these people that we're after. We want to find out what the animals in the pen at the Stardew Valley Fair say. And again, under normal circumstances, because they're behind a fence, you can't actually interact with them to see what they have to say. They do have a speech bubble, so clearly they've got something on their mind. And luckily for me, I know a programmer. He, of course, made me a mod that allows me to walk anywhere I want, so we can walk right into the animal's pen and interact with them to see what they have to say, if anything at all. I'd even wager that one of those pigs is Penny's father, former lover of Pam. Also, if anyone sees a sea creature in the next little while, mouse over really quick to see if it has a dialogue bubble. I'd love to see what it has to say. Alright, well now that I've very cleverly gone two days past the Stardew Valley Fair, we're gonna have to wait for another year. Thoughts on that, Mayor Lewis? The saloon gets pretty lively at night. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I thought the saloon was busy in the mornings. What's this? Another mod made for me that helps me with my stupid ideas. Now I just gotta sit back and wait. One year and 8,000 trees later, we're ready to find out what the animals say. I'm mostly disconcerned they're going to say what the animals are supposed to say. Moo, oink, etc. Shane, could you step out of the way please? You're setting a bad example for the animals. All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. Why are you touching the animals? Get out of here, you weirdo. Alright, which ones do we start with? I kind of want to start with the pigs because they're my favorite of all the animals because they can make me the most money. We seem to have gained access to the pen. We can't move around that much probably because we're not supposed to walk in here. Pig? Hi. Oh, the pig says hi. I didn't think they'd actually say anything. I thought they'd make animal sounds. What do you say? Hi. Alright, well they don't have very original dialogue, but they do say something. Hello? Chickens? Hi. Hi. They all just say hi. Well, they're still more interesting than Harvey. But I was hoping they'd have some original dialogue. The skeletons at the Stardew Valley Fair also say hi. So I guess that's just generic dialogue they add to things like that just to make the game a little more interesting. And clearly it's working because here I am chasing it down in video ideas and people are wondering about it. And just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a bunch of pork ribs. Yikes. Yeah, you hear that, animals? If you don't get more interesting, we're gonna turn you into ribs. I've got some soul searching to do. Yeah, well, do it on your own time, Dr. Harvey. Now, where's Gus and his grill? That sounds delicious. Well, that settles that. In case you're wondering what the animals at the Stardew Valley Fair say, they say hi. I wonder if there's any other animals that might have something a little more interesting to say. Oh, look, a dog pen. I wonder if there's ever possibly a dog in here at any point in time. No wonder the dog does never come out of its box. Pam walks by every day. The poor thing's terrified. Now, you're definitely not supposed to walk in here at all, as the dog shows its red glowing eyes. Now, there is the one heart event with Dear Alex, where he actually has some interaction with the dog. I can't remember exactly what heart event that is, but we're going to explore that next. I'm going to need a different file because I'm pretty sure I've seen all of Alex's heart events on Mumps. Turns out the event we're looking for is Alex's four heart event. The next problem I'm faced with is you actually have to meet Alex before you can get him to four hearts. He's also single, so that's good news. Not so much for him, but for me. So, as soon as he walks out that door, we're going to meet him, he's instantly going to be at four hearts, we're going to trigger the heart event, go through it, and I'm going to touch his dog. I wonder if the dog ever feels bad that there's two cans of dog food lying outside its pen that it can never get to. It also lives in a very small little fenced in area. Alex, nice to meet you. Did you know I was an all-star quarterback in high school? It's true, I just don't care to be honest. And through the magic of cheating, we're just where we need to be. Not sure if there's a two heart that's going to trigger in between these two, and it needs to be past 9am, so I still gotta wait. Now this looks about right. The dog is just out of his little cardboard box. Nice house for it by the way, Alex. Might want to build him something out of wood maybe. We have a carpenter in town. And it doesn't look like we can touch the dog. We kind of phase through it though. That's kind of fun. You might be the only one around here who understands me. Well, you do have similar IQs. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. Yeah, wanna bet? I've abused many people. Oh, and uh, let me just walk out of the bushes and just... Alright, I don't know what's happening. Oh, this could be fun in itself. I'm allowed to move around during hard events. Woody, did you overhear me talking? Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I do. I'm just gonna wait in the fence. Pour your heart out, friend. Pour it out. I actually need to, like, be right here in front of him for a trigger or something. Oh, this is weird. 
Hello? Now I can't talk to Alex. I broke the heart event. All right, well, you can't talk to the dog, and after a while, you can't talk to Alex either, and that's not really a big loss to me. I don't miss either very much at all. All right, so are there any other animals in existence that we could potentially talk to? As far as I recall, the birds and stuff don't have a dialogue box. Even if you see them in a the distance, all they do is run away as soon as you get near them. I don't think there's any opportunity to interact with them at all. We have right here some birds. No dialogue box. Using my super speed, I could probably walk right through them. Yeah, they don't do anything either. They just fly away. Just another small effect they added to the game to make it a little bit better. Upon searching for more things to play with, I've uncovered another mystery. There's no row A and there's no row G in the Joji Mart. Not sure if this has ever been explained along the way or what that means. Maybe someone out there knows? Help me out with that. Oh no, they let the Pam in. Pam? More animal talk? Arr, my head. Well, it's normally your face that gets to me, but it's pretty much the same thing. How about this one? Does the minecart track go anywhere? Nope. Well, I guess technically it does. I just walk out into the darkness. Amusing in itself, but not that interesting. Okay, well, what about this one? It normally stops you right at the fence line. Not anymore. We can just kind of sneak past. Whoops, and it stops you again. Okay, clearly the game knows I was going to try something like this. And I'm completely stuck now. Okay, well, this pretty obviously goes about nowhere. Let's try it just on the edge. Okay, definitely nowhere. I'm also going to wander around just beyond the edge of the tracks. Because if there ever was an area over here, you might still be able to catch its trigger point and walk into the next area, but that doesn't seem to be the case. It does still work in the mountain summit though. It would be really cool to find a spot of the map that's never actually been found. Well, there's always this one at the bus stop. I'm predicting a similar result, but you never know. So we'll take walk mode off and we get just get stopped under tracks. You're clearly just not supposed to walk here at all. Same kind of result. I wouldn't imagine this one could go anywhere anyway because the area of the map just above here is the path between your farm and the carpenter shop. Pretty sure I've tried this one before, but I don't think there's anything beyond the end of the tunnel unless you have a mod. Another interesting thing I just noticed is if I walk up here, it'll actually take me to the bathhouse. Despite the rocks covering it, it still functions as a staircase, which makes me wonder if there's any other hidden secret things that might take you to another area. So in theory then, if I was to walk through the right area of the map, it would teleport me to somewhere new, or a different part of the map that it was supposed to be a trigger point for before. So far, no luck. I doubt anything actually exists, but hey, you never know. If you don't try, you just won't find out. I actually did hear something about an unused staircase that was in a wall somewhere, so maybe I'll look into that next. Well, as one final thing to waste my time with, uh, it appears that this tunnel also goes nowhere and I'm stuck again. Excellent. Well, that was still kind of interesting. In a video that started with finding out what the animals say, we went to exploring the map for more crap. Do you know what place we haven't tried yet? And this is a good place to try and touch things both in real life and video games, is the casino. And maybe even just the desert in general because it's a place you have to unlock. So maybe there's just a few more interesting things to see as a reward for actually making it there. Uh-oh. I think the Pam escaped. But that's okay because I basically own the Pam. When I want the bus to take me to the desert, Pam drives me to the desert. All right. Oh. Oh yeah, we could always interact with the dinosaur head though. That's nothing new. Technically this is an animal though, so there you go fella. Spoiler alert, that's part of the casino quest line. Not that exciting. Actually, does the end of the road take us anywhere? I don't know if we tried this one before or not. Probably not, but at some point if it did, this would trigger us into a new area. All right, well, we better try the other side while we're at it. I like how quickly you move too while you're in this walk mode. Anything? No, doesn't look like anything. What about the forageable goods that are off the map? No? I don't think there's any animals in the desert ever, aside from the dinosaur up there that was slain by Pam. And I don't know if there's any hidden staircases or anything unused in the walls of the desert. There definitely could be being the size of this wall. But that's maybe exploration for a future day. Turns out there's really not much you can interact with in the desert outside the map. I thought at least maybe one of the trees, because there is actually a tree on your farm you can interact with that is outside the playable area. Sandy, you probably get this a lot, but do you have anything that I could touch? And no offense, but I'm not willing to pay for it. Why, hello, if you see my friend Emily in town, could you tell her I said hi? No. Anyways, the casino is what I wanted to play with. I guess there's nothing really outside the borders of the map here though, it's all just usual stuff, people. I was kind of hoping there'd be a fun little off-limit area you could try and get into because real casinos certainly have them and they don't like it when you go into those areas. But this all seems pretty straightforward. I can reach pretty much anything I would want to play with. Actually, it's up for her. And I believe she's the same one you see at the Stardew Valley Fair now that I think about it. She's standing kind of to the right. Well, let's go see her. Uh, no, I don't want to play. What? Get out of here. All right, one little mishap later and we're good to go. Oh, she actually has no dialogue. Even the animals say more than her. I guess that's what I should expect from someone with purple hair though. It's probably another one of the wizard's illegitimate daughters. That's why she's here, cheating the casino, because she's magic. Well, one more experiment and one more failure later. Nothing to play with at the casino. 
Well, except for Debate will be that girl, but she doesn't seem to want to do anything anyway. Well, that was kind of a fun concept to explore. So keep it up with the great ideas. I hope you liked it. Thank you all for watching.